Hi class, this is Amasin sir. I hope you are all home and safe. So today I am going to continue our topic of lesson number one, arrival of European in India. And the topic is British interest in India. So in the previous video we have seen the French interest in India. And in today's topic we have introduced the British having how they have interest in our country. Now you know it and I know it that what was the main interest. Okay. So in 1600 C. In the reign of rain, not Versa, this is the season of the rain. In the reign of Queen Elizabeth, or at the time, or at the ruling time of the Queen Elizabeth, uh, they have started British East India Company in our uh, at that time. And in the year 1608 or 16, 1608, okay, in 1608 CE, remember CE, 1600 CE and 1608 CE, CE means the render. Captain W. Hawkins, okay, he set foot in our country in the port of Surat. The first time W. Hawkins came, our here came and he started our trade in Surat. Then he went to meet the king or the Mughal king of Jahangir, or Mughal king, uh, pardon me, Mughal king Jahangir, and he asked Jahangir that can I have a trade in Bengal also? So Jahangir said, no, sorry. Cannot, you cannot have it and he denied for that trade but still he was having trade continue in the Surat port. After a few times Sir Thomas Roy, now what is called Sir, uh, when a king uh, gave an honorary, uh, honorary position to some person uh, then he has been called the Sir, he has been given a knighthood also, that we call the knighthood and that is how he has given a designation Sir. Okay. It's the most valuable and respectful place in the court of Queen at that time of uh, Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Sir Thomas Roy, till today's day, is the same thing. Sir Thomas Roy, he arrived and he arrived at Surat Port and he went to meet uh, Sahaja at Delhi. Okay. And he asked the same thing that can we have a trade, can we Britishers have a trade in Bengal? So Sahaja said, Okay, fine, that's it. Okay, I am allowing you that. Remember, Saja he has uh, demolished the port of Portuguese. Remember? Yes. But he had to be in the same place. Okay, in the same place, Saja allowed the producers, okay, you can start a business in Bengal. Okay, I have no problem with that. But you have to give the tax in routine time. So, British started trade in Hubli uh, uh, port in year 1651. Okay. Remember in 1608 uh, he went to Changir, so Changir denied that, and in 1651 Sanja ordered them, okay, you can not order them, he tell them, okay, you can start the business. But after a few times, at the Hubli port, remember at the Hubli port, after a few times, okay, they have continued their trade and everything was going nice. So, Britishers went to meet Aurangse, okay, son of Sahaja, okay. You know the hierarchy that was the king, Baba, Baba son, Humayu, Humayu son, Akbar, Akbar son, Jami, Jahir son, Sanja, Sanja son, Adam. Say, though there were many uh, son of each and every king, but these are the main people who have ruled our country or they have been ruling our country at that particular time. So, Bitsas went and meet Sanja. Uh, and Sanja gave the permission to trade. After a few times, Britishers went to meet Aurangzeb and he asked Aurangzeb, hey, can we have a trade? Can we have a trade without paying your taxes? So at that time Aurangzeb said, okay, but you have to do the annual payment. Sanja payment saath mein de do aur aapko tax dene ke nahi hai. So at this how, the uh, Britishers started doing trade without paying any taxes. Remember, trade is fine. Taxes not giving, that is not fine because all the kingdoms run on the taxes only. If they are not going to give the taxes, then kingdom cannot run. The kingdom, they have to pay the salary, they have to manage uh, law and order, they have to manage the people's requirement, they have to fulfill all this kind of stuff at a particular time. Unfortunately, this thing was being taken as a granted by the Britishers. Britishers thought, or a, now 
we are having this kind of a freedom so let's start till without doing taxes but also not paying the annual payment and because of this the king uh, pardon me nawab yeah, there is a difference between nawab and king you will know it later on and find the google and type it over there for king code what is nawab code okay the sound similar but it's completely different nawab of bengal okay nawab of bengal has given has started checking the records and he came to know that Britishers are not paying the taxes which was been given permission by uh, uh, Aurangzeb, but now they are not paying the annual payment also, and because of that, the income of Nawab of Bengal was in huge loss. Now we will just hear this part and we will start something new regarding the Nawab of Bengal. Okay, now what we will do is this. Okay. okay. Now coming back to the Nawab of Bengal. Remember, as I said earlier, that uh, Aurangzeb given the permission that you can trade, but uh, without giving the tax, but only one condition: annual payment you have to get together. Okay. Monthly charge nahi, you can give it annually together. But Britishers start taking misuse of that, and what they were doing, they were not paying tax also, and they were not paying the annual payment also. Now this is the uh, good thing what we Indians are actually this so that uh, though Aurangzeb have trusted, has shown his trust on this Britishers, they okay, they are good people, they might give us the tax, they might not, they might not want to give the tax, it's fine, they will give the annual payment. So he agreed on this kind of a condition. But this Britishers so uh, cheated us, you can say they cheated us and they were not giving the tax and they were not giving the annual payment and because of this Bengal was facing a huge financial crisis because the trade was going on Britishers were earning a lot but our king, our Nawab was not earning at all and what happened? Mursid Kuli said hey, please Mursid Kuli Khan okay, Nawab of that particular time uh, he said that you have to give the tax then Britishers said your Aurangzeb has given the permission to work without any tax so dear Mursid Kuli Khan, uh, Khan is okay and after Mursid Kuli Khan his son Ali Bhatti Khan came and he started facing the same problem they were having a huge financial loss because of the trade and in the end Siddhar Jindwala son of Ali Bhatti Khan he took in charge and he came to know that this is long going on and he took steps to stop the businesses so right now, I'm ending my video over. Stay home, stay safe, take care of you.